Hello, Tom from Every Step Calculus, everystepphysics.com. This is a related rates video with regard to a ladder and a wall from calculus. A ladder 10 feet long rests against a vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at a rate of 1.1 feet per second, how fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing when the bottom of the ladder is 6 feet from the wall? Since college hall requires cram testing and forgetting, you'd have to memorize these formulas and really study this problem to be able to do it in a calculus test, of course, and then just memorize it and try to get something done on the test and then forget it forever. And it wouldn't hurt you to forget it because calculus is a worthless subject as far as I'm concerned. Um, and so anyways, we're going to do it here with my menu and my programs. Here's the index 8. We're going to scroll down here to average rate of change, but in your, if you have the problem in your test, you're going to go to related rates. But I've programmed this so I, I know that average rate of change is the same thing as related rates. And then we're going to scroll down here to number 9, which is the ladder and wall. And that's what the problem is. All my programs work the same way. The words in the problem make you go to the menu and choose that item. And we're looking after number three here, d theta dt, which is the angle change in the angle. And we're asked to find the angle between the ground and the ladder. Remember, the ladder is the hypotenuse, and the ground is the base of the right triangle, and then you have the y-axis, right? And they say that the ladder is moving now, being pushed or pulled at a, at, uh, on the ground here, number two. And we have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here, and it's moving at one point one. feet, number six, per second. And it's moving away from the wall. If it was moving towards the wall, it would be a minus sign placed there. I always give you a chance to change it in case you've made a mistake. I say it's okay. The ladder length is given as alpha 10 feet. Say that's okay. And the distance ladder is from the wall, which is on the x axis. Here's the wall, and they give us the distance away from the wall, which is alpha 6 feet. 6. I say that's okay. First, we find the angle. And using trigonometry, cosine of minus 1, x divided by z, remember the cosine is the adjacent side with regard to the hypotenuse. That's 53.1, that angle right here. <coughs> now we're going to take cosine of theta and equals x the base times the hypotenuse z equals x over 10. We're going to differentiate that with respect to theta, x, and time. The der derivative of cosine of theta is minus sine of theta, d theta dt, and that equals 1 tenth dx dt. Okay? And so minus sine, we add the variables, 53.1 and one-tenth, and then the dx dt we entered as 1.1 feet per second. And so we do the calculations here through algebra. We find d theta dt equals 0.11 divided by cosine of 53.1, and that equals 0.11436 degrees per second. 
we multiply that times 0 0.0175 and we get 0 0.002 rads per second, depending upon what your pathetic professor wants you to answer in the test, okay? So anyways, pretty neat, huh? Uh, go to my site, buy my programs, and pass calculus. Simple as that. Hey, have a good one.